All right, you're welcome. It's here. Okay, with the uh, next episode of The Transgender Lifestyle is Dangerous. Uh, I most likely will keep the parts from now on about 10 or so minutes. Because we have a 50, I don't know if we have a 15 minute time limit, but usually I think 15 minutes is the right time on a time to go mm -hmm, to go for these videos. About 10 minutes or so is my time, the right time for these videos. 15 minutes, uh, we'll get to that. Well, no, no, for Let's Plays eventually, but no, no, 10 minutes. I usually do videos for 10 minutes, so let's stick with 10 minutes. All right, let's continue on here. What was the last one? Your delusional, yeah, uh, your your delusional the thing they like to say, uh, and it's one of the saddest things ever because, of course. They'll say I'm delusional for saying you have to learn to live with um, your physical body. Mm -hmm. It's something that you can touch. <laughs> you know, they'll say, I oh, know my body is wrong because my mind is this or I feel like this. And it's like, those are not tangible things. <laughs> You're saying that because I say uh, you have to learn to live with your penis and testicles. You have to learn with your vulva, uterus and ovaries uh, and breasts. Uh, that I'm delusional but you, you you're you're saying that stuff that you cannot physically touch makes you have to change stuff you can physically touch <laughs> like uh, you know it's really sad when they do that because it's wrong you know and of course they're trying to be god do it it's like no there, there is no because no god because i say so don't look into it <laughs> don't look into it i'm like yeah no there, there is a god uh, he's amazing and he wants the best for us, and he gave us the bodies we're supposed to have. So, yeah, I'm learning to live with those bodies uh, instead of trying to um, rebel against him. And there's, again, that, that whole thing of, I, a uh, mortal, you know, fr uh, a fallible mortal human will fix a mistake that God made. <laughs> well, give me this perfectly functional body that uh, doesn't look like I want it to look. <laughs> you know, like, that plastic surgery thing comes into the play as well, because they're basically saying stuff like, well, uh, plastic surgery, sir, but what about... You want to change your, your nose or your your, your your something like that? And it was like, well, that's that's not right either. But you know, still, it's not a, you know, it's still bad. But it's still it's like you know not the, the same thing because you instead of saying, oh no, I need to get my nose reshaped, you're saying I need to take off perfectly functional organs and uh, parts of my body and uh, form, form it into something that looks. Like something that's supposed to be that I wanted to look like, you know, it will never be what I wanted to look like, you know. And I'm like, yeah, that's really bad. No, don't do that. No, don't do that either. Because I'm so people are just like, yeah, a plastic surgery, a plastic surgery, people want plastic surgery do this stuff. I'm like, yeah, but that's wrong as well because they have to learn to set their bodies. Unless there's an actual problem. If there's an actual problem. But again, if there's an actual issue, it's like, oh yeah, you know, your nose is it is damaged, so it, it's not going to. You need to uh, get that fixed so you can breathe properly, you know, or something like that. And that's like, okay, okay, get that fixed. But if it's like, oh yeah, your your nose is perfectly fine, just doesn't look like what you want it to look like. <laughs> you still want to do this? Like, yeah, I'm like, no, <laughs> no need for that. And your nose is good. All right, I got my grandma's nose, I believe. Mm -hmm. Grandma, great grandma nose. Mm -hmm. that's, how, that's how it goes. Mm -hmm. And it's fine. Mm -hmm. we'll live with that uh so let's see here what was next okay if you're delusional uh yeah no, someone who is you know basically acting delusional is saying i'm delusional that's that's not right i was like he slash she is not lying now here's one that's really sad too because basically they'll do this stuff uh i only um the uh, story booth story my best friend kept a huge secret for me where a girl person more with ovaries named rose uh, was talking about how her she found it, she made a friend in in uh, middle school, she was like 13, 14 years old in middle school, uh, who she thought was a girl, but then later found out he's a boy, born, born in testicles, penis and testicles, and uh, basically uh, I'm like yeah, um, he just stopped lying about being male, being female, is he born with penis and testicles? Lying about being male, about being female, lying about being female, like lying about being female, and people can be like you know, he, she's not lying, I'm like. Really? <laughs> yeah, uh, a person saying, uh, you know, a person born with testicles saying they are female is lying. Mm -hmm. Is lying. Mm -hmm. a person born with ovaries saying that they're male is lying. Mm -hmm. Because I'm sorry, that's not how it goes. But again, they bring up the whole thing. I feel me. Mm -hmm. I feel female. Well, yeah, there is no male or female feeling. Mm -hmm. you know? There's this really horrible, horrible uh, um, picture on DeviantArt where you have, uh, I think there's two of them. And someone with a pink body with a blue heart or a pink heart, a pink heart with a blue body. And what happened was they basically uh, said, 
win. Look at that. I was waiting for our exterminator supposed to be here a few hours ago, but he's not showing sure up. My nap time's coming up around 12. <laughs> so, yeah, but I can't go to sleep until my mom goes back with the laundry. <laughs> so, that's a bit of an issue. But we'll figure it out. Now, uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah, so it's like, yeah, no, they're, they're not lying. They're, you know, basically, they're going off. They're not lying. But I'm like, yeah, they are 100%. Because I'm sorry, you are basically disguising yourself. A person with testicles is disguising themselves as a female so they'll be treated like a female. Like they want to be treated like a female, quote unquote. Uh, you know, a person with ovaries will cut their cut her hair short and try to hide her breasts and other curves to try to be treated uh, like a male is treated. <laughs> you know, again, for better treatment, basically. And they keep saying, that. of course, they're not, this is not for better treatment. You know, oh, except for you know that they they want to be treated in certain ways that they think is better. Mm-hmm. It's interesting how that works. It's, 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 no. mm-hmm. They're lying, definitely lying. Sort of this for, for her pronouns are lies, and they're basically trying to say respect. When they say respect my pronouns, they say respect my lies. That's what they're saying. Mm-hmm. So they are lying. Do you want next is I'm lying. Mm-hmm. Okay, I a Christian, a person, Bible in Christian. That's what I say. Let me take you off. Um, uh, Basically, it's going against my own stuff. You know, they say they said that you're going against your own stuff by saying we're wrong and according to what the Bible says. I'm like, oh, really? <laughs> Bible says this is wrong, so I have to say this is wrong. <laughs> you know, and basically, yeah. Here's the deal. Like, basically, I'm like, yeah, you know, lying lips are abomination to the Lord. They deal truly or his delight. So I'm trying to deal truly here <laughs> by telling you the truth. But a person born with testicles. Uh, says that they are female, you know, they're lying, so that lying is wrong. You know, say it's not that. But with ovaries, says they're male, they're lying, or aren't female, because the you know, non binary stuff counts here too. Say they aren't female, they're, they're androgynous, you know, that's lying too, because most likely they're trying to look more masculine. Okay, you know, some people, of course, be like, no, I'm just cutting my hair short and hiding my, cur- my breasts and other curves. I'm like, yeah, so you look more masculine. You know, I'm like, oh. Got to cover it. So I am not lying. What the Bible says, I'm a believing Christian. I must you know, tell you what the Bible says. That's how it goes. I am not lying about that stuff. Can you on. This for you is not fear. This one is one of the worst of all because it's, again, back to delusional stuff. It is delusional. Yeah, go on. You know, Rogar or Rogan just got choke slammed <laughs> uh, by that robot. Just like, uh, congratulations, you've just been rescued. <laughs> Please do not try to resist. I was like, okay, uh, sir, I guess. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I was like, I'm like, dang. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so it was like, yeah. But anyway, this warrior is not fear. Uh, because they basically will say that. I'm, we're not filled with fear. I'm looking at this, the way they're talking. And what they're saying is so fearful. And I'm like, this is fear. I'm like, no, it's not fear. It's dysphoria, which is a word that means fear. <laughs> and guess what they talk? Guess what the true name, the full name of dysphoria is? Gender dysphoria. <laughs> fear of what might happen to you because of what biological gender, basically. Um, yeah, <laughs> biological sex. Uh, Stereotypes <clears throat> related to I was that's that's gender the identity mm. gender is because is the used as a word for identity nowadays so gender dysphoria is identity fear mm-hmm. fear of the identity that basically you'll be you know people will look, see look at you and be like okay that's basically that's a that's a male mm-hmm. that's a dude my mm-hmm. dear. You know, that's a ner- nerdy dude or whatever. That's a nerdy girl, whatever. You know, mm, that's a black dude. You know, he's a cr- might be he's a cr- might be a criminal. You know, mm, that's identity, uh, bad identity, of course. But no, still mm, identity. They're 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 forcing on you, but no, still I'm like, nah, mm, you don't. You're not supposed to be afraid of that. Mm, you know, you're supposed to. Yeah, you know, you'd be annoyed at that because that's stupid. But uh, you're not supposed to be afraid of it. You're supposed to learn to th- show, try basically help them learn that they're wrong with that. Mm, so it's like, oh, now yeah, look at that. That for that dude, you know, look at that dude and doing that stuff. You know, look, looks like that. You know, they probably are like these other people, and then you prove them wrong. You know, so every time I walk by someone, you know, you know, I'm basically like, yeah, they're like looking at me like, oh, what's he gonna do? I'm like, gonna walk by you, you know, not do anything. I'm not a criminal. Yay! You know, you know, lesson learned. You know, I like that. I like that every single time. So I'll say, see you guys next time. Check me out on YouTube if you're not. We continue on with uh, stuff that uh, these people like to say mm-hmm. and proving it wrong.